from Lamb Sock have asked me to create a really amazing and adventurous lamb recipe for them and so the obvious choice for me was my Kima curry which uses lamb mince and it's probably in my top three meals that I make of all time uh, and I talked about it online and I had loads of requests for a recipe video for it so here it is now I'm in my new kitchen it's not actually a new kitchen it's so old this kitchen that it's actually disappearing I'm renovating the whole house and this kitchen isn't even going to be a kitchen so I'm afraid we're kind of stuck with it for the moment it's very small and unpretty but it's also quite functional and it will do for what we need I have all my ingredients over here, so come on over. So, main ingredient, obviously, is our keema. This is our lamb mince. And lamb mince is so easy to cook with. It's very, very tasty. And it's very hard to overcook it or undercook it in this recipe um, because we're going to fry it off and then it's going to simmer in the sauce, so it's definitely going to be cooked. It's really widely available. It's very, very tasty. If you're in any doubt as to um, whether it's quality assured, then look for this sticker that's got the red tractor on. So that is our main ingredient. And then I'm gonna take you through the others. We've got some onion, and that's been kind of finely chopped. I'm not very good at chopping, so, you know, I do as best as I can. It's kind of a little dice like this. And then I've done the same with the green pepper over here. And we've got crushed garlic which I did use in my amazing rolly crusher thing. And we've got grated ginger. We've also got our spices. We've got um, a teaspoon each of turmeric, cumin, ground coriander, and garam masala. And then we've got a tin of chopped tomatoes here. And then we have our chilies. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about these chilies. And if you take a look, I've chopped some of them and I've left some of them whole. Now, I call it, these are called um, rocket chilies, I think. And I call this my customizable heat. Now, some people hate spicy food, some people love it. I love it. What I do is I chop some of them up so you get a nice ambient heat throughout the whole dish, and then I leave these whole. And by the time you go to serve the dish, they're cooked through, so they're quite soft. And if someone doesn't like heat, they can take them out, and they're really easy to spot. But if you do like heat, you can bite into them, and they're so, so spicy, they're unbelievably spicy. So, that's my customizable heat. And I think that's all our ingredients, so let's get started. So first of all, adding my fat to the pan, you don't need very much because lamb naturally has nice fat running through it. Um, I've used ghee, you can use whatever cooking oil you prefer. And then I'm going to fry off my onions. And I want to really fry those so that they're nice and soft. And now in with my peppers and my chilies. Everybody is going to have a different order that's going to be the correct way of doing it. This is just how I do it and in fact it's probably not even a traditional recipe or anything like that. It's just one that I've developed over the years and I think is really tasty. So this is how I do it anyway. In with the peppers. And the chilies. And putting the water on for my rice. Now, this works really, really well with basmati rice. You could also serve it with naan or with chapatis or even pita breads if you've got them lying around, most people have. And then in with my lamb, keema. And then just fry that off until it's turning brown. And then just before the lamb is cooked through, I'm gonna add my garlic, my ginger and my spices. These smell amazing. And the lamb works really, really well with all of these spices. It makes for a really tasty kind of rounded curry. Time for it going in. Now I have cooked this dish all over the world. Because as a model, it doesn't happen so much anymore, but I used to get sent to places for ages at a time. And I used to feel really homesick, so I used to take my spices in little bags with me. And then I'd know that I could cook my dish wherever I went. So I've had many, many different international versions of this. So, 
I put the spices in just before the meat is actually kind of completely browned off. Just because I feel like it infuses it a little bit more rather than waiting till it's completely cooked. Some people might put the meat in after all of the spices and the garlic and the ginger. And then just a few minutes later in with my tin of chopped tomatoes. And with that, there was also about half a tin of water. So I kind of swilled out the remains of the tomatoes. And you have to just keep on checking it because um, if it goes a bit too dry, you can add more water and just keep cooking it down, cooking it down. At this point you can add a little bit of salt and pepper if you like to taste. But really, we can let that simmer away. Now I want to let you into a little secret with this dish because it actually tastes better the longer you leave it. So the next day, if you've got leftovers, they taste amazing and even the day after that. You can bulk this out and you can actually make a few little customizations as well. So you could add spinach, which tastes amazing in this and it just adds a new little texture and makes it really healthy and iron rich. You just throw that in towards the end, it only takes a few minutes to wilt down. Well, you've also got drained chickpeas, these are just from a can, so you can just throw those in. So you can put those in now, but what I tend to do is eat it as it is, and then the next day I bulk it out with these things to make it last a bit longer. So it really is the dish that keeps on giving this one. And there we have the finished dish, this is the keema curry, which is a lamb mince curry. I've served this with basmati rice. I've sprinkled some fresh coriander over the top, I've got my naans on the side and I've got a dollop of yoghurt as well on each one just for the real chilli freaks just to cool things down. And I really hope that you enjoy cooking and eating this, it's a great one to share with friends and it's a really easy way to start cooking with lamb. And again if you want to see more lamb recipes then check out the Lamb Sock YouTube channel, the link is below like and subscribe and all that kind of business and I feel like I've been very serious in this video that's because I've been concentrating and um, trying to remember everything so sorry if I have been I do lots of smiles now ah, like and subscribe and see you next time